so hello everyone so welcome to a new video so today we will be discussing about the torque control functionality of uh, of the drive and uh, we will see how the acs 880 drive in uh, torque mode and uh, how we can uh, uh, basically the video is for making you understand how, how the torque mode ac actually work so before going to the video uh, i'll just uh, show a recording so basically this is the motor which is running at full rpm this uh, 3 kilowatt motor 3 kilowatt motor which is running uh, 1400 rpm and i i just uh, stopped the motor rotation using my bare hands so This again, giving some force with my hands, I could stop the rotation of the motor. So, uh, this is what exactly the topic for today. That is the torque control. So, how did I stop the motor? It's because I kept the uh, drive in torque control mode, the torque control, and I put eight eight percent as my uh, a torque reference so what does it means i can the motor will only rotate up to an eight percent torque after that the motor will be just uh, like standstill so we will see uh, so before uh, going to the settings uh, so this is my basically my setup so i have the drive which is in profinet control mode okay so this is my drive and this is my uh, variables that I am sending from the drive to the PLC and these are the variables uh, data that I am sending PLC to the drive. So I have explained this many times and uh, if you have doubt on this please watch my video number 3 where I have explained how to communicate with the ABB ACC 880 to AC500 PLC. Okay, now we will jump to the program. So again, uh, this is the program. Again, this uh, if you have if you want to know more about how to uh, make the program for status word and control word, please see my video number three. So uh, this. I think this uh, this video will be a continuation from video number three. So anyway, uh, so this is my status word and this is my control word. So as you can see in uh, my control word first bit I am using as a start command and the seventh bit will be a reset command and uh, here the eleventh bit. So if you go to the manual, you can see the eleventh bit is used for external control. Okay and you can configure the same thing in uh, uh, your drive drive composer in the parameters so what you can do is you can go to the uh, operation mode 19th group and here you can select the bit number 11 as your external 1 and external 2 selection and I will I have configured external 1 as speed external 2 as torque so if my bit this bit goes high this uh, that is my 11th bit if I enable this bit as high it will select torque control so you can see the actual control right now so right now the drive is in speed control mode and if I if I activate this bit my drive will go to the torque control mode so we will just i'll just show you that okay so now uh, as you can see my this is in speed control now when i enable this bit if i force this bit to true you can see my drive will change to torque control okay so for starting I will put it back to speed control 
so you can see the drive is in speed control okay so uh, now we'll now if i give uh, a start command my drive is going to run it in uh, speed control mode so for this uh, i need a uh, uh, reference okay so as you know my speed reference comes from this uh, variable okay so i will copy this so if so let's say uh, if torque mode is selected okay then uh, my uh, speed reference uh, sorry speed reference will be equal to speed reference will be equal to i will i have already created one variable here speed reference is an integer so uh, integer two word of speed reference into 200 so the when you when you are running the uh, drive in uh, speed uh, control mode the whatever reference the reference is i am going to send the 0 to 100 reference from this variable so this variable should be multiplied with 200 and uh, sent to the speed reference okay so yes, this is false so torque selected false means your drive is in Uh, speed control so if it is uh, true then uh, torque reference but this should be multiplied with 10 okay okay so uh, this means that if my torque is selected it's not selected then the drive is in speed control mode and the speed reference will be the uh, the speed reference that you are going to give into 200 and if it is in torque control mode the torque reference into 10 that will be the okay so let's uh, download this uh, there is some error ah yeah okay so now uh, let's uh, first run the drive in uh, speed control so i'll give a reference of uh, speed reference of let's say 10% so my motor uh, is set at uh, 1400 rpm the maximum rpm so if i give 10% my drive should run at 140 rpm so let's give the start command 
so that the drive is running So you can see my uh, drive is running at uh, 140 RPM. So now let's uh, increase the value to. So we will increase the value to 50%, which means my drive will run at uh, 700 RPM. Yeah, you can see the this is the Y2, so you can see the speed uh, motor speed is 700 rpm. Also, let's uh, run at full speed. Okay. And you can see that my motor torque is uh, almost four uh, percent. Means to run the motor in full RPM, it takes around four percent torque. Okay, so this basically explains the speed control, which means I directly give the speed reference, and my drive will follow the that reference, and it can uh, whatever be the torque required, the drive target is to achieve that speed reference. So that is that basically covers the speed controls. Now let's stop this and we will move to the torque control. Okay. So as you know, I uh, when I started the motor in uh, full RPM, it was around four percent torque. So let's uh, uh, let's select torque control. Okay and my torque reference i'll give as three uh, percent three percent torque okay now we will give a start command so that the motor create um, you see the graph you can see that my motor is not moving but the torque is generated in the motor and you can see the exactly the what the torque like I gave 3% uh, the reference and the motor torque is again kept at 3 now let's uh, stop and give a more torque reference just to run the motor uh, I'll give 5% torque So this time the motor ran because to generate 5% torque the motor will run at any RPM its target is to achieve the 5% torque but as you can see the motor continues running but my the, as my motor is completely free the torque generated is only 3.7 but my requirement is 5% torque so the motor will try its best to reach uh, the the target uh, using the uh, rpm i mean running running full speed as my maximum speed reach and yet my torque is not achieved now let's see let's uh, let's give a uh, eight percent torque okay now let's see uh, what happens when I give a load on the motor so right now I will give a load on the motor and we can see how the graph goes okay now the motor is loaded 
and the motor is right now stand still okay so we will explain what happened so as you can see i gave the the torque reference i have given is 8% torque so around this point i gave a load on the motor so the when the load increased the motor torque actual torque also increased and you can see the torque exactly stopped at 8% okay so as you can see the dry speed dropped here and it almost went to stand still with 8% torque on the motor so this uh, this is basically the torque control means as the the drive target is to achieve the torque reference so once it achieves the torque reference what happens is the motor went to a standstill so what if my actual load is more than 8% uh, torque right now i made the 8% torque by holding the motor shaft with my hand so what if again if i have more strength to rotate the motor to the other side okay which means what my torque is again going to increase but my motor target is to keep the torque at 8% so during this time what you can see is the speed will drop again means the motor will try the opposite direction run the opposite direction to maintain that 8% torque so basically this is what uh, torque control means i wish uh, i had enough strength to rotate the motor the other direction but uh, this is basically what will happen if my if my if i can give a force more than 8% of the motor torque the motor will rotate the other direction now let's continue so you can see the motor is still stands still i will oh. yes so now i just uh, left my hand from the shaft and you can quickly see that uh, the motor again went back to uh, full rpm because the torque is only around uh, 4% torque so its target is to achieve again 8% torque so let me again hold the motor you can see the motor will jumps to the 8% uh, torque and it the motor stops rotating we will see that So you can see here. You can see I applied the torque here, but my hand slipped. So again, the torque. Uh, you can see the drop of uh, RPM here. Uh, when my hand slipped, again the motor went to the full uh, RPM to make the torque to eight percent reference. and here i i hold the shaft uh, firmly so my motor stopped reaching an 8% uh, torque reference and then the rpm went to zero and the motor almost stayed stand still so this is basically the concept that uh, torque uh, control motor follows and you can see such application in uh, cable reel drives and uh, Uh, in the industries you can see many places where we use the drive in torque control mode and uh, this is the concept so i hope uh, this was clear to everyone so uh, this is how you control the drive in torque control mode so thanks for watching this video and uh, thank you